please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel then click on the bell icon for notifications Money. Money. Good ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sylvanos HD. I am your host, Sylvanos. If you are new here, please subscribe and slap a like on this video already if you haven't. Please, very important, slap a like on this video. Also, follow me on Instagram. I do reply. I love when you guys talk to me. So, go follow me on Instagram and message me. Without wasting much time, let's get into the news of today. Let's get into the highlights. Bonaboy revealed that Ghana is the only place he can go and have peace of mind and have fun. He said this in an interview. Nigerian singer Bonner Boy, in an interview on Apple Music Beat 1, said Ghana is the place he prefers to be every new year because he gets genuine peace in the country. Speaking to the host, Bonner Boy explained that anytime he sits at the Labadi beach and looks at the points which separate the sea from the sky, he feels that God lives there. Bonner Boy showering praises on Ghana come as no surprise having met his soulmate in the capital Accra during the 2019 New Year holiday. It was during his stay in Ghana, he met UK-based musician Steph London, his current girlfriend. Here is the video of him saying everything about Ghana. Going to Ghana. Why Ghana? Because like that's the only place I have like actual genuine peace. Okay. You get me? It's like when you go to like Labadi Beach and then you're looking at the water. Man. And then like you see there's this line at the end where it's like it separates the sky from the water. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's where God lives. So you started in Ghana. Yeah. I got then, got your peace. And then went yeah. where next? I go on mad robot mode. Mm -hmm. Where it's like I'll do like four shows a day. Right, yeah. Right? Yeah. At the end I'll just break down. The totally. robot breaks. <laughs> yeah. And then that's when I go to Ghana. Right. <laughs> what do you think about that guys? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Still on the news guys, Nigerian singer Zlatan Ibile calls out um, his secondary school teacher who said he will end up as a vulcanizer. Popular Nigerian indigenous rapper and rave of the moment, Omonei Timidayo Rafael, also known as Zlatan Ibile, has called out his secondary school teacher on Twitter. The father of one took to his official Twitter account to call out his secondary school teacher who told him he will become a vulcanizer in future. Some believe the singer might be an unserious student back in school who showed signs of amounting to nothing in the future for the teacher to have made such remark. However, Zlatan seeks to approve his teacher wrong. Yes, yeah, this is what he tweeted. To my secondary school teacher, we say na vocanizer will do last last. Hashtag Shotan laugh emoji laugh emoji laugh emoji. What do you think about this guys? To me, I think that <laughs> I can't really blame the teacher because back then when we were in secondary school, like there are some guys like they are just ah, I don't even know how to put it. They are just too unserious. You you, don't, you can't blame the teacher. But in the other hand, I also think that teachers should stop making such comments about their students. Instead, they should encourage their students to do better and stop saying negative things about the student because nobody knows tomorrow. I also remember when our math and physics teacher also said something like that to some of us in secondary school back then. But I wasn't unserious. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I was a serious student. Former BB Niger housemate Uriel finally meets her crush Anthony Joshua. The former Big Brother Niger 2017 housemate Uriel is known to be madly obsessed with boxer Anthony Joshua. Uriel constantly posts sexy photos of her crush Anthony Joshua with a really testy caption. Well, it seems her dream have come true for her as she finally met her crush during a cookout for children in Makoko community. Today was a blessing in so many ways, she wrote as she shared the video. Here is the video of her and Anthony Joshua. You can also recall back in 2017, Uriel also photoshopped herself and Anthony Joshua in one picture, claiming that they finally met with this caption. Some will say it's Photoshop. I thank my photographer at I am Azenachi. Signs are wonders, so as we be 7K, Banky W, you shut down Lagos. 
I'm shutting down Oguta and my grandfather's Vitor's Coco Parlor and half of his kitchen. Hey Buka, you are not invited, Pico. Let me cut my case in peace. Also, and to also a kid asks Anthony Joshua why he talks for the UK instead of Nigeria. This is what he has to say. I like to ask you why are you fighting for why are you boxing for Britain and not for Nigeria? Second question. How old were you before when you started boxing? How old were you? I was, why am I fighting for bread as a Nigeria? So, my mom and my dad, and they were born in Nigeria. Yeah? And when they were 25, they went to London. I was born. So, I was born, and I started boxing at 18. And I came back to Nigeria many times when I was younger. Still on the news, Nigerians criticize Tacha for spelling daughter wrongly. The big brand Nigeria housemate Tacha has been dragged on social media after her inability to spell the word daughter correctly. The self acclaimed Kotakot first daughter, who is popular on Instagram for her explicit dance moves and raunchy pictures, got backlash from social media users when she supposedly spelled daughter instead of daughter on her paperwork. The 23 year old graduate of Ignatius Ajuru University of Education, who is on possible eviction this Sunday, has been getting quite a number of support from media personalities on Instagram. She, however, has been criticized for her style of approach in the house, as a lot of people consider her to be arrogant. <laughs> Lastly, still on the BB Nigerian news, fraud breaks down in tears as Esther rejects his relationship proposal. It appears that in the 2019 BB Nigeria show, the fun doesn't end with the Saturday party, as what happens after the enough alcohol has gone down and many sensual moves have been displayed on the dance floor is indeed very interesting. Currently trending on social media is the talk of how housemate fraud was caught by Esther after he told her about his feelings for her. Not only did he tell her he really likes her, he apparently also told her she was the only one who could check him when he misbehaves. Esther however made it clear that she didn't want a relationship and that they weren't friends. Although she was gentle about it, it seemed to have breathed forth so badly, he couldn't help but shed tears. Oh my god. Here's the video of of the guy crying shedding cocodile tears. If any other person says that I won't listen, if he has to take you to say he comes to my front and say fraud, shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay. I, it's only you that can do it for me. Yeah. And I identify that strength with you. <laughs> okay. How did I make you cry? I took your eyes. <laughs> did I took your eyes? How did I question? You didn't mean that supposed to be crying. Cry. Yeah. competition. Nah, let me just start my own cry. You so much. Come on, we'll not cry. I told you, my heart is not strong, bro. That is true. Okay. Is it because of something I said? So. What do you think about all these guys? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to slap a like on this video. Comment down below what you think about all this that is happening. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't followed me. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And peace. And peace. Please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then click on the bell icon for notifications.
money, money, you love it. 